Now, we've just uh, witnessed the live demo of the Virtual Real Tesla suit. Sure. Um, so I'm Jeremy Orr, the director of Virtual Real I'm here in Australia. So at Virtual Real, we develop what we call uh, translocated virtual reality simulations at the moment uh, with a focus on tactics and weapons training aimed at defence and mission critical team personnel. Um, but of course, that's not the only use case for these types of tech. So uh, we obviously integrate full body motion capture and haptic suits, so the Tesla suit, um, omnidirectional treadmill, so the Infinidec, um, panoramic uh, HMDs with integrated eye tracking and um, voice recognition capabilities, replica tools and firearms and optical tracking systems. Um, so today we're obviously here to showcase the Tesla suit capabilities. Um, so th this is the Tesla suit. Um, so it has full body motion capture um, as well as um, haptic feedback points all over the body. So you, we can simulate anywhere on you almost um, any sort of feeling from someone just gently touching you through to pretend you're being in a boxing match and a boxer punches you in the gut can actually activate your ab muscles to give you that feeling like you've had a heavy impact. Um, so uh, up on the stage obviously we were just showing ca showcasing Tesla suits um, new game called Flynn's Arcade where it's uh, sort of a disc throwing electronic themed game. Um, we sort of like dodgeball but a futuristic version yep. Yep. Um, which went well um, which was great so uh, and yeah, you know, looking forward to moving forward, uh, working with Tesla suit and getting hold of their um, VR gloves, which is an exoskeleton glove yes. that are, you know, now gives you full hand and finger tracking, gives mm -hmm. you haptic feedback on the fingertips, um, gives you some resistance on your fingers too. So when you're going out to like, pick up a coffee cup or open a door handle, you can actually feel um, those things in your hand, feel the door click and unlock and open it. Yep. Um, so I mean, yeah, this tech is, you know, there's, there's limitless possibilities of what you can do with it. And I think, um, you're going to speak in a minute about some other things that might be coming up. My name is Lawrence. Um, I work for Microsoft in the Mixed Reality Group here for Southeast Asia, Australia, New Zealand. We have been in the Mixed Reality business. Some of you may remember the Connect for the old uh, Xbox. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, Connect was our first device where it could see multiple players playing real time mm -hmm. and truck their skeletons. Uh, that was very successful. It got adapted from medical, got adapted way beyond gaming. Uh, so in 2015, we um, introduced the first generation HoloLens. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, today, I was showing the second generation HoloLens, which we launched in 2019, which is a wearable see-through computer uh, that allows you to put persistent shareable objects into the world. Uh, and so um, what I'm really thrilled about is where haptics and mixed reality overlap. And so I shared a little bit about Microsoft Mesh, which is our uh, platform to bring together uh, computing devices uh, where multiple people anywhere in the world can share and collaborate in real time. And I, I am just looking forward to being able to put on a HoloLens, see Jeremy's yeah. digital avatar, and just reach out, reach out and shake his hand from a thousand uh, kilometers away. So very excited. Wow, that would be fantastic. Now, we saw a quick demo yeah. um, in there, and um, are these available as yet? Or, yeah, or? yeah, they are available. So uh, HoloLens 2 is on sale in Australia. What we actually showed today was a uh, preview app for Mesh, so there'll be improvements come along. But Mesh is a developer platform at its core. So if right. you're a Unity developer, a native C++, um, you know, DirectX developer, or an Unreal developer, you can use the Mesh SDK, which we'll be launching soon, mm -hmm. and you can build your own um, multi-user distributed experiences, wow. incorporating haptics from the Tesla suit SDK. Yeah, so you can do it yourself. Excellent. So all, all, the, all the possibilities are made available to all the developers, and when yeah. they all come together, that's when magic happens. And, and the last thing is Mesh isn't about HoloLens, right? Tesla suit, uh, we support out-of-the-box uh, Oculus, uh, you know, we support uh, your VR headsets, uh, we'll support iOS and Android, so you can have your users picking an end experience that they want, but they're still able to collaborate together in your application. Wow.